Okay, so we're just going to show you how we brand our frames with our beekeeper's registration number. So here's some that we finished earlier. So just to start with the tools, we use a branding iron from brandingirons.com. Um, it's just a propane gas torch. Uh, I'll have to say they're not cheap. They cost around 300 or 315 US dollars. And then on top of that, we order a custom head with our, with our number, which is the brand number that we've got with, with in Australia here for our beekeeping operation. And as you can see, we've got it mounted in a like a pipe vise on, on the end of the workbench. And Dave's just going to show you how how we go ahead and brand the frames. The purpose of branding the frames is, I guess, it makes it difficult for people to steal our our frames. Uh, but it also helps the apiary inspectors identify that they're they're you know they're our hives. So with this. Um Make sure you've got a bit of clear work space because once, once uh, this, this, this piece of equipment is hot, if you lean on it, touch it, or fall on it, that will be your brand for the rest of your life. <laughs> so these here are all the top bars of our uh, frames. I've sort of got them set up in the bench reasonably tidy so I've got a clear space I can pack them away as I'm branding them. Uh, what I want to do is roll them over a little bit so that they're easy to grab. And it's as simple as that, once the brand comes up to temperature, you don't need a lot of heat or a lot of gas. Just take it, you know, don't, don't put too much in. Once the heat's up there, you can back it off a little bit. And then it's as simple as just grabbing the frame with your two hands, keeping well clear of your burner, and just a quick press. That's it. Then nicely green. Pick up the next one, make sure the bench space never is clear. On, and then down onto the uh, pack of phones. Doing it this way, uh, you can go through a hell of a lot of frames in an hour. Um, if you were to do it, sort of put all the frames together and then put them in your boxes and then brand them, you'll find you'll need gloves and all sorts of things because you're standing over the top of the heap and you don't really want that. You want to be able to just do your top bar and put it aside so that you can uh, put the frame together. And something to keep in mind is the size of the lettering that when you order your custom brand, if you're branding into wood like we are and your brand is large, it takes a lot more pressure, a lot more gas to, to get the brand to brand in nice and deep. So try not to go too large on the lettering. Uh, we've got a larger brand that we use out for our polystyrene hives, but we'll show you in another video how we brand our polystyrene hives. So that's it. Thanks for watching.